Oh, that's Jazzy. So I guess there was another shooting that possibly could have happened in Minnesota, Northfield, but a janitor kind of ruined that for him. This is a St. Olaf College custodian led to the student being arrested and charged Monday with conspiracy and terroristic threats. Waylon Kurtz, 20 years old. Three counts of conspiracy and a count of terrorist threats related to the case. The custodian found boxes of high capacity magazines in the garbage can around in, in, at the dorm on April 5th. The boxes led police to Kurtz's dorm where they said they found a cache of items including a tactical vest, empty ammunition boxes, gun magazines, knives, propane canisters, lighter fluid, a list of St. Olaf public safety radio frequencies, and a notebook with extensive writings. Reviewing the notebook, police say that there was a hand-drawn map of the campus building with a path of travel, a plan to steal ammunition from Walmart. That's behind the counter, ain't it? Or maybe it's not. I don't, I don't ever walk in that section, so I'm not sure. A list of radios he could purchase and instructions for Kurtz to create a shoot house to train. Police write shoot houses are indoor firing ranges that are typically, typically used to train military and law enforcement personnel in close quarter combat. During interviews, the charges states that Kurt told investigators he was a gun enthusiast and believed everything he had in his dorm was within college range policy. He kept high capacity magazines and ammo off campus. He was suspended and removed from the campus at this point. He wasn't arrested by police until the following day after police got a search warrant and seized his vehicle. They're lucky he didn't act the day before then. On his phone, they found conversations with a co-conspirator that discussed ways to prepare for the shooting without being noticed by authorities and buying guns. A notebook these people with extensive notes on combat and guns along with a page titled things to be good at discussing shooting people his defense attorney said there are holes in the investigators case and believes the investigation will show Kurtz is not a harm or threat to anyone he was in his second year at St. Olaf an ongoing investigation. An alert was sent out to students last week on the incident. He is being held at Rice County Jail. See, that's good. At least the janitor wasn't an idiot and just ignored it. Some of them usually, you know, would. It's awfully weird that we're having all these school shootings at one time again. Notice when there's all these wars and riots going on with this other group that this stuff starts. It's probably connected, I'd almost guarantee it, because we see who's the angry, violent mob of people. Yeah, plenty of these shooters are white, but that doesn't mean anything. There's only so many callers as they could be, so. I don't know, that's kind of cool, though, that the janitor busted his ass. He took all that effort and backfired on him. But see, it, it doesn't mean that he's going to get a good sentence, though. It doesn't seem like they ever get any kind of punishment unless they actually do the damn crime. So you just let him, basically let him go do it again. I'm sure he's probably already out. I guarantee you they probably already let him out. This no-cash bail nonsense and stuff going on right now where they're just letting criminals right back out on the street is so stupid. That one there shouldn't be allowed out at all because he's obviously a threat. <sighs> What is St. Olaf? Is that a Christian school? I guess I should have looked that up first, but O-L school. This says it's a private liberal arts college in Northfield, Minnesota. So it's just a private school. Anyway, at least that one was stopped. I'm pretty sure there was two other ones, if I remember right, that they stopped. But good job to that janitor. That's it. See ya.